What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. All right guys, we're going to be covering another stat test today. All right, so we know we did defense penetration. We've done critical damage, by the way, still not working. Um, so for those wondering if when that's going to be fixed, you're probably going to have to wait till global or at least a couple days before. They're probably going to want to have it introduced before Chad just to make her look pretty damn bonkers. Not the main reason why they're doing it, but I mean, it's a pretty damn good reason to fix it then. But we're going to be focused on another major stat and I want to explain to you guys how it works. So we're going to look at specifically damage increase. Okay, so damage increase is right here. If you guys can see, it's right below damage or defense penetration. Now, I'm going to just use a random character. The beauty of defense penetration and damage increase is I call it the UN stats as they work for everybody. It doesn't matter if you're skill off attack, skill off HP, skill off defense, skill off looking good, skill off looking bad, skill off being pretty, skill off being ugly. It doesn't matter. They, they apply to everybody, which is kind of the beauty of the two stats. Now, there's a major difference between them, though, okay? And I'm going to explain to you guys a little bit of a difference why and when you want to use them. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. Now, we're going to unselect all of her gear. That's 51K. Thank God. It used to be 116. So we'll swap this out. I'm going to show you guys the basic stats for her. And I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Sal for this preview, okay? So we're going to look at her basic stats. You guys can see here there is no 5% crit, 5% crit damage, but there's 0% defense penetration, 0% uh, damage increase. Now we're going to do this also for MP reduction eventually, and we're going to try to do every other stat possible. So we're going to jump into the usual mode. So let me go back in. Uh, we'll do Battlefield of Trials, Hunter, and we're going to go to our favorite Bear Necessity here. And we're going to just test him here, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the following stat. So all I'm going to do is do basic attacks, all right? That's going to be the goal here. Where is she? Where is she at? Where is she at? There you are. So, and then we're going to remove all these guys. Now, I will increase her by giving her a couple extra guys to work with just so she's not in the red, okay? That way, at least the numbers look normal if you're in the normal vicinity of, of damage okay so range of damage for cp so let me go ahead and do this and we're going to take a look at it together now let's see what damage looks like when you are just using her now some people have asked me if, if i've noticed a camera angle difference yes i've been doing this for quite some time this this bug has been there forever that one right there okay so watch okay so here we go basic attacks okay two three eight two two five one seven three four six nine so just gonna just show you guys just you guys can see basic attacks how they work and how much damage they're doing okay Again, this bear sucks, he's so damn tall, but about 2,000 up to 3,400, about 11K for a core attack. But you guys can, you guys get get the picture here, right? So let's keep going here. 243, 2605, 317, 9,000. So I'll, I'll, put, I'll put these numbers again inside the, the video so you guys can kind of get a general sense of what we're looking at here in total, okay? There you go. Couple numbers, couple numbers, etc. Nine four two two. That out for a sec. All right. Now we have sixteen percent more damage increase. So let's go ahead and jump in back into here and do this battle again with our favorite old bear that gets abused more than anything else. And let's show you guys how this is going to work out now in regards to damage. Okay. So we have some numbers already without him. So let's see how damage increase works. Okay, and remember, this is an HP scaled unit. Okay, that's the main thing to remember. Now, remember what I said in the beginning, how this stat will stack for everybody, right? doesn't matter what scale you are. So, 2814, 4153. So, let's see if this works. I should see a 10% increase in damage. Forget the crits. So, let's see if it's actually working. Okay. 2769. All right, guys. So next up, I did another test here. We tested Lee Bora, who is an actual scaling attack unit. Now, you guys can see here from artifacts, I've actually given her just random artifacts. The only two pieces she has is HP increase and the 40% uh, more damage on opponents, sorry, 8% uh, more damage on opponents, 40% HP or less. We're not gonna have that problem, obviously. You guys can see here additional HP and, and defense have been added, but no additional attack. But I've gone ahead and raised the 
damage increase to 11.54%. Now, I did a test before this, okay, just so everyone's aware, and the damage she does prior to having any damage increase was 900 on her basic attacks. So we're gonna test to see if it makes a difference, if damage increase does scale better on an attack unit versus someone who scales off of HP, just to see if there is, in fact, a discrepancy there in regards to what type of unit it affects versus the type it does not, okay? So remember, it's 11% increase here, so we should see roughly about another 100 more damage or so on her basic attacks, okay? That's that's the idea here, just to look at the basic attacks and see what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and see this. And look at that, you already see it. You can already see the damage difference. About exactly about 100 or more. I don't think I'm gonna see any 900s at this point either. Okay, so there's a 2000 something. And I'll go back and I'll show you guys, okay, that the fact that it is only 900 something without additional attack, okay, or no no extra attacks added, rubs off here, guys. And we're gonna test this without the charm because charm obviously does more damage, so I don't wanna I don't wanna mess around with that 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 information. Yeah, a thousand something. Okay, let me go back now. I'll show you guys real quick. Let me do one more, a couple more attacks real quick. Yeah, look at that. Okay, now let me go back and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, we're gonna do recording here without any of her extra damage increase stats. We're gonna remove it completely. So if I unselect everything, okay, you guys can see now we're down to 75% precision still, but 0% damage increase. Now watch what happens when I go in here and I do some testing on this one now, okay? So let's go here. Again, go back to the bear. Where is he? There he is. Enter. Okay, we're still above the CP, you guys see that, so that's not affecting the, the numbers in any way, shape, or form. So we're still in the blue, that's not going to make any difference. We've been in the blue the whole time, I made sure of that, okay? So now watch, watch basic attacks, okay? We're, we're going to see how, like, you'll see it'll be about a 10%, to, uh, sorry, 12% increase on, on, on it, look at that. Couple crits there. There's a couple 900s, right? Again, precision plays a big role, obviously. Okay, let's let this hit. See a couple 900s there? See what I'm talking about? Like, we didn't see any 900s at all in the last run we did. This is going to hit, so we're going to have to avoid the charm. See, the charm is on there, so that's why that's doing that damage. So let's avoid that again. See 900s? See, it's low low 1,000s, which I'm getting a lot more of this time, but a lot more 900s here. I had no 900s at all in the last one. couple 900s there, 950. All right, guys, we're back here again. So uh, after the testing, HP scale unit, attack scale unit, how does damage increase work? Well, it does. It does work, which is a good sign. We've seen the increase, in fact, go up from 16% and even higher. And then we've seen the 10% and even higher, which is a good sign because what we wanted to do is make sure that the bottom number was, in fact, higher than the bottom number without the damage increase. So we, we can comfortably say the damage formula does, in fact, include defense, HP, and attack. So I'm assuming what it does, and again, having a better understanding, is it'll take attack and replace the damage formula based on the unit and put its scaling in there instead. Okay, so comfortably, we can say damage increase does, in fact, work. Now, it is a minimal increase because of the amount of HP I currently have. If I were to fully put... For example, Sal, complete setup here, have her full HP in place and have that damage increase actually go in and do what it normally would do, I would see the numbers become a lot higher, right? So keep that in mind. So defense penetration versus damage increase. You want both, but defense penetration will work better early on. And then later on when the stats become higher, damage increase, should, you should see a bigger number for damage increase. Now remember, defense penetration does have a ceiling of 100%. You cannot do more than 100% of someone's uh, defense penetration. With damage increase, the ceiling is higher because there, it just bases based off of your actual main stat. So whatever you scale off of. So the numbers can technically go much higher. Currently in the game as it stands, we won't be able to see that because obviously we can't get that much stats higher than what we currently have. But later on, I would imagine we'd probably see a pretty crazy increase as the game gets uh, more mature and the gear that drops is much, much more um, lucrative in regards to its stats. All right, guys, so there you guys go. So that is the testing for damage increase. I just want to show you guys how it all worked. Hope this was insightful. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.